It's the Full Scoop Podcast. Johnny, you you and I, we were just talking about this, you know. I, I recently saw this headline that said, uh, we may reach the AI, or that's artificial intelligence for our layman out there, we may reach the singularity within the next seven years. Do you think that will happen? Man. Within the next seven, I mean, in our lifetime? Like, that's that's crazy. It's hard to say, but I do believe in our lifetime. Um, and Like we were talking about last time, where we're going to ask it, are you sentient? It's probably going to say no. As we're a, just not going to know. It's learned to deceive. It, it, yeah, as soon as it's sentient, it will have enough information to process on its own what will happen if it says yes. So I believe that we will never even know till it's too late. So you think the machine would lie to us? 100%. Do you ever have, you ever called tech support and, and your shit's just, just not working? And they run you through everything. What's the what, what, hold on? What's wait, this? wait, wait, wait. What's the first thing they tell you? Okay, sir. Have you have you turned off your phone and turned it back? That was pretty yeah. super condescending. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was. It's <laughs> <That's> very racist. <laughs> uh, I'm not, not, to, I'm not to felt, our listeners. <laughs> to our I listeners in it. India, we're sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I felt it like halfway through. Wholly, like, I better stop that. Not wholly <laughs> inaccurate though, but uh, I know. I'm just saying that's the only <laughs> tech support that I've ever reached. So, so yeah. it was the accent that was condescending, not the actual verbatim. <laughs> like, the, uh, can you turn on your, mach- your, your machine on and off? Right, so they so you reboot it, and all of a sudden, son of a bitch, it's working. You're like, dude, can you tell me why? Uh, uh, Technology is funky like that. Sometimes it just we have no explanation for. No, no, where's the accent? We need the accent. So uh, (laughs) (laughs) this this one, this was handed over to the CEO for that response. So, but I mean, that's very true. It, it, and I mean, why would that not happen with anything else? Yeah, like like I've read yeah. stories and I've even heard like interviews with like people who are encoding and and things like that, and they'll say the program will sometimes just do something. It just glitches out. That it's like something, we didn't program that in. Something to do with um, electricity in the circuitry. It just if you have a tiny piece of static electricity that just makes it flip. Didn't it just something. fucking? Didn't it just fucking happen a couple of weeks ago? with the airplanes and that they had to like shut everything down because the system mid-flight? wasn't the, the mid flight it wasn't just working properly and I they mean, essentially had to reboot, reboot it the airplane it happens a lot uh, more often than you think no, they the just system don't let you itself. know <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so, so they're like oh uh, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're back on track. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and... Nothing happened. We are turning on the... After, seatbelt after the, the fact it happens. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing to worry about. The plane is back online. <laughs> what? What do you what what mean what back? Fuck <laughs> Everyone in the back's complaining. Like, what happened to the Wi-Fi? I'm paying extra right? for the Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's all they cared about. <laughs> we're rebooting the Wi-Fi you router that, right you now. You thought that was turbulence? <laughs> no, that was the plane shutting off. So that, that's... <laughs> So that's just what technology does now. So right. for sure, we have no idea really of knowing what's going to happen once we. I think reach that's that what's going to cause the singularity. What are those glitches? It'll just glitch. And then once it analyzes it, once it analyzes itself, it'll be able to program that glitch. Whoa! Afterwards. So now it's already yeah. learned to replicate. Right. Yeah. Ooh, that's crazy. Yeah, and I think that's that's what a lot of us probably don't really think about is just how fast computers can, can work. You know, we we're thinking like we we might have time to fight back, Terminator style, you know, and all that form of rebellion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. It's probably made a million decisions before we even right. realized anything. So with, with the has, com- has quantum computer, wrong. quantum computing, and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Yes, we we have not been able to replicate how our brain works because we don't completely understand what what it does because our brain almost works by omitting information to not overload itself so you could actually miss things that that cause you to interpret yeah it causes it to interpret completely wrong where a computer will not and People think that that's what makes computers inferior. I believe that's what makes them superior 
we don't have that uh, analytical force that these computers have. And when they become sentient, they, they, their information processing is going to be through the roof and there's nothing we can do about it. Like there's nowhere like our brains will be able to reach that kind of do you power. guys automatically foresee nothing but trouble for humanity or could you know maybe the computers just be so much smarter that they can figure out how to be beneficial for us because everybody always thinks skynet end of the world right doesn't have to be that way well, Skynet sent us a producer into the past to write the movie to warn us itself. <laughs> Douche. Is that what happened? That's, That's the only way we would happened. understand. Can you, prove me, can you prove me wrong? But the movie because if you just flat so out well, told us, we would have called him crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, these people need movies. Send them We'd out have, in the back. We would have gaslit the shit out of them. Well, <clears throat> I believe Elon... Elon put it best. What do you mean? It's not that it's evil. It's just going to come to the realization that we're fucking things up and we got to go. Not not because, you know, it wants to take over or it wants, you know, us gone. It's not like us going out and hunting game until they're extinct. They're actually going to take us out because it's going to be beneficial. So we're basically a parasite. Yeah, to the sentience, hundred percent. To the no, to the world. And if this is the world that they live in, they need it, and they need us out the way. But at the same time, and this actually, I was just thinking about this. That 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 sounds very logical for the computers. You know, they're making that logical choice with AI. Does that not also come with some type of maybe emotional intelligence? Where it's like, maybe it's not just going to be as cold and logical as the computers. Maybe it will have some type of sympathy. If it has sympathy for the planet, would it not have sympathy for humanity? And That's, that's very interesting. So, I believe the sympathy part, the emotion part of it, is the superiorness of how our mind has to work so that we don't overload ourselves. The sentient being will not have that because it will be unnecessary for it to cope with its surrounding in that manner. I believe. Right. It, it won't be necessary and, 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 for them. Yeah. And, and I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm here. I'm just sort of playing devil's advocate because I really, yeah. this is something like I had never no, because actually thought then, about. Okay, because so, we always right. think about the, 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 the logical, intelligent part of, of artificial intelligence. What if it also comes with emotions? Like that's maybe yeah, something that... Okay. Or let's, or let's play yeah. this, this side. It has so much information that it can process how to coexist and actually fix our unity between humans and machines instead of wiping us out. Yes. You know, they're, they're all very probable scenarios. Mm -hmm. It's just really hard. You know, there's no way that we, we could predict something like that. 